Margot Robbie looked emotional and distressed as she left Cara Delevingne's house on Monday, September 12. The Australian actress, 32, held a hand to her face and looked visibly upset as she made her way to car waiting for her outside her Suicide Squad co-star's LA home, following fears over Cara's health after the model engaged in a series of worrying behavior. Margot isn't the only of Cara's loved ones to rush to her side over recent days, following reports the award-winning model's family had been considering an intervention in a bid to get the actress to accept help, after the star was snapped smoking a pipe alone in a car and snapped looking disheveled and distressed outside an airport last week. We are all incredibly concerned. The situation has been building for a few weeks now, and Kara's family is involved, one of Kara's pals is reported as saying earlier this month, going on to add, she has been burning the candle at both ends of late, and it's clearly taking its toll. Thankfully, Kara has a supportive family and plenty of friends who will be helping her get through anything she may be struggling to cope with. Poppy Delevingne Cara's London-based sister was pictured at her sister's home over the weekend, with it being reported the 36-year-old socialite and blogger rushed to Cara's side amid the growing concern for her siblings' well-being following public incidents and no-shows at events. Poppy is said to have told reporters that her sister was doing fine after being asked about the model's well-being as she left her siblings' house last week. Kara was Poppy's only bridesmaid when she tied the knot with her husband James Cook in 2014, and the two sisters have an exceptionally close bond, even launching their own brand of Prosecco with their other sister Chloe back in 2020. Suicide Squad star Kara, 30, slept in Poppy's bed for years as a child and credits both her sisters with helping bring her up, as mother, Pandora, 56 struggled with heroin addiction before they were born and was later diagnosed as bipolar. Sienna Miller Kara met one of her closest friends Sienna Miller thanks to her big sister Poppy, who lived with the layer cake actress in New York shortly after leaving school. Sienna and Kara were reportedly spotted kissing in a club at the start of the year, with an alleged onlooker telling Page Six in January, it was like fluid friends. Sienna made out with this tall guy, and then she made out with Kara. It was like a fun night out. An insider who claims to know both celebrities added the pair have been friends for years, and they like to have a crazy time. It's fun. Sienna joined Kara in Ibiza last month, as the star celebrated turning 30 with her nearest and dearest and a whole host of celebrity pals and famous faces. Margot Robbie starring in Suicide Squad together in 2016, Kara and Margot Robbie were already pals before they become co-stars, first meeting at a formal, stuffy party. Wolf of Wall Street actress Margot previously explained to E.T., when this waitress asked, Would you like water? Would you like champagne? I said, God, I want a tequila. Kara who I'd never met before, was about 5 meters away from me and her ears just pricked up and she said, did someone say tequila? I was like, you and I are so going to be best friends. The Aussie actress added, I genuinely love her. I do. Margot appeared to be struggling to remain composed as she departed the model's $7 million West Hollywood house on Monday, September 12, at around lunchtime, before jumping into a waiting car to take her to Los Angeles International Airport for a flight later in the day. The Oscar-nominated actress clung to a what appeared to be a plastic bag full of toiletries as she held her hand to her face and seemed downbeat in pictures obtained by mail online. It is not yet clear if Kara was home at the time of Margot's visit. 
The sighting of Kara's former co-star and longtime pal leaving her home comes just one month on from the pals celebrating the model's 30th on a lavish yacht trip off Formentera, Spain alongside the star's other friends and loved ones. Earlier this month, Kara was said to have continued the celebrations at the Burning Man Festival, with insiders claiming the paper town's actress spent days in the desert not eating much and skipping showers as she partied. After turning 30 earlier this year, Kara had spoken about how she was surprised she is still alive, as she expressed how grateful she was to enter her 30s and bid farewell to her 20s. The one-time British model of the year told Stylist magazine, Honestly, I didn't think he'd be alive at this age. I literally couldn't wait to turn 30, because the 20s are effing hard. You're basically still a teenager, but you're meant to be an adult and everyone's telling you this is the best time of your life. Adwoa Aboa Adwoa Aboa and Kara met during their time as teen models, with the pair admitting in a joint interview in 2017 they aren't quite sure exactly when they were first introduced to one another. We were walking around on the street in London in a cardboard box, Adwoa remembered when recalling one of her earliest memories of her now lifelong pal. In the chat together with Glamour, the pair reminisced about old times, laughing about the time they watched Gillies at Glastonbury together and their first trip to the Burning Man festival, being driven to the event by a girl who Kara says was pregnant and blind. People call us, model best friends, but we were friends before. What I've always been grateful for in our friendship is that we expect absolutely nothing from each other, just friendship, Adwoa sweetly told Kara during their feature. The pair even have matching tattoos, both having half a red heart inked on their hand as a way to symbolize their close friendship. Lady Mary Charter is coming from quite a privileged background herself, it's hardly surprising Kara has one or two aristocratic friends. The model and her sister Poppy have been pals with Lady Mary Charteris, who is daughter to the Earl of Wemyss and niece to Daphne Guinness, for many years now, with Kara posing with the High Society Beauty at a charity fundraiser event in May this year. Lady Mary, who went sober in 2018, joined Kara and her celebrity pals in Ibiza last month, as the paper town's actress went all out to celebrate her 30th birthday. If you're struggling and need to talk, the Samaritans operate a free helpline open 24-7 on 116 123. Alternatively, you can email Joe at Samaritans. Or go or visit their site to find your local branch.